Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. FOMC day. Gonna be a bit light until UK CPI. There'll be a vote in the House of Lords at around lunchtime, and then FOMC. Powell's on the wires last night, kind of mildly hawkish. Dollar yen made a new high here. No real trade. Just want to stick with those core longs that we established yesterday. Dollar Swiss is coming up on these interesting levels. Of course, it is Dollar Swiss, so it's very hard to trade, but. 98.90. 99 the figure. 99.12. Don't pretend to know which one of these is going to work or if any of them are, but if you look at this now, got this sideways, it could be sort of head and shouldery. A lot of things you could, a lot of people are going to say a lot of things about this level. I want to keep an eye on Euro Swiss. Normally, if Dollar Swiss is going to work, Euro Swiss has to walk along the road with it, so we want Euro Swiss higher today. We will be long dollar Swiss and trading it through 90 here. Probably also through 10 above. We'll see. The other one is dollar CAD. Just looks like she wants to go up. We're still respecting this trend line after that one sort of silly break up to 70. We're using 40 as the point. Last night, uh, 27 was the high. Yesterday, 30 was the high. 27 the high on Friday. 40 the high on the employment news. Um, I don't know. Just have to respect this. Obviously, an hourly close above the big high. 67 is the important point, but this is our horse today, dollar cad, dollar cad and dollar swiss, god, god help us, those are the two horses, let's take a look at S&Ps, we're still waiting for 2808, <coughs> the grind higher continues, no reason 2808 can't trade, uh, we will be getting short in this zone. Crypto is just banging along at the bottom here. Same deal. Patience here. We're going to get given at 62, probably also at 52, 5200. Um, same, same exact strategy. Sell 90% of your longs, 10% higher. Um, and you get yourself a great average on a core long. That's for Bitcoin. What else is there? Let's take a look at the Euro chart real quick. This low is important. M1727. Euro is a bit trickier because, you know, we have this ECB tomorrow, depending on how hawkish or not hawkish they are. This is going to have a big effect, so I don't think you're going to see people plunging into Euro one way or the other until tomorrow, so no trade in Euro. Dollar CAD, Dollar Swiss, those are the horses, and this is what we're going to do. We'll talk again at lunchtime, we'll be closer to FOMC, I may do a little special presentation uh, this evening, just before Powell comes on. Uh, if the levels line up and things are looking interesting. Good luck today, folks. I will talk to you later. Ciao.